like and subscribe this Ems OFW Hong Kong YouTube channel para lagi kayong maging updated sa susunod pa naming mga video. Now, the subject for today of our theme is about Jesus, our righteousness or the righteousness of the Lord. In Matthew chapter 6 verse 33, Jesus said, Seek first the kingdom of God and His righteousness and all these things should be added unto you. Now, we are talking about the three specific important things of this verse for what Jesus said. The Gordon in the Gospel of Matthew in chapter 6 verse 33. First word is seek or seeking. Seeking means effort. Seeking means action word. Seeking means movement or sacrifice. The second word is about first. First means priority or give him time. The third word is about the kingdom. Because the kingdom of God is talking about the kingdom of righteousness. Do you know what Jesus did for you? One of the biggest problems in the church is that many Christians didn't know how exactly what Jesus did for them. At Calvary's cross, 2,000 years ago, you need to realize that Jesus came and took upon himself the sin of the world so that you could take upon yourself his righteousness. This is the purpose. Jesus is our righteousness in our topic for today. Jesus took upon himself the sin of the world so that you and I could take upon yourself his righteousness. Jesus become sinners so that you and I could become righteous. It is recorded in 2 Corinthians chapter 5 verse 21 according to Apostle Paul. The word of God tells us in Romans chapter 8 verse 1, There is, therefore now, brother and sister in Christ, no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus, who walk not after the flesh but after the Spirit. So if you are born again and was in the blood of Jesus Christ, then there is no condemnation on you, according to Apostle Paul. When Jesus comes, He makes you righteous in front of God the Father. He comes and points this scripture of righteousness at you and declares that you are righteous. That means that you can now stand in the presence of God the Father without any sense of guilt, inferiority, or condemnation. Because Jesus has paid for your sin and God has forgiven you. He was you in the blood of Jesus. The Bible says, He will take your sins from you as far as the east is from the west. And He will put them in the sea of forgetfulness. Since your sins have been removed as far as the east from the west and put in the sea of forgetfulness, what business do you have bringing them up again and again? In other words, you should not be talking about your past life because past is past. God are not interested of your past life, but God is interested about your future. He is not interested in your past life. He is interested in your future, your destination, not your past life. Now, stop talking about the days when you were in the world. Stop talking about the days when you are in a sinner's situation. But talking about the grace of salvation from the Lord, the forgiveness, the washing of His blood, in order we can make a righteous in front of our Heavenly Father. 
You are a new person in Christ Jesus. Jesus come to deal with the sin problem. From heaven, from heaven to earth. Jesus come to the earth and meet place, the word meet place, in order to deal with the problem of sin. By hanging on the cross for us, by becoming sin for us, the church needs to have a revelation of Jesus, our righteousness. For too long the church has focused on heaven. Well, when we get to heaven, there will be no victory over sin. Because the victory over sin, not our work, not our deeds, but the work and deeds of Jesus Christ on the Calvary. But Jesus, your righteousness, Jesus, our righteousness, has come to you in your heart. Being constantly aware of your right standing with God also helps you resist for their sin. When the devil comes with condemnation and follows up with temptation, you say, sorry, you are knocking on the wrong door. I'm free from that temptation because I'm no longer a slave to sin, but I am a slave of Christ now. And I've been delivered with no longer, the sin have no longer dominion over me because I am a child of the living God. I've been washed in the blood of Jesus. I've been cleansed. He's taken out the stony heart and put in the heart of flesh. I have a new spirit within me. He has made me to be a new creature. I am a new creature in Christ Jesus. This is what Jeremiah talking in Jeremiah chapter 24, verse 7. The Lord God said, I will put you a flesh heart and I will remove the stony heart in you and I put a flesh heart in you. And I will remove your spirit of rebellious. And I will put the new spirit of obedience. That's why Apostle Paul written to the Christian of Corinthians. He said, if you are in Christ, you are a new creature in Christ Jesus. Remember what we said about Paul in chapter 5. Before the Apostle Paul was saved, he worked to persecute, imprison, and kill Christians. But he is the one who wrote this to the church at a foreign in Corinthians. He said in 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17, Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. All things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. The Apostle Paul realized this. He realized the truth. What's that's why he told to the Christian of Corinthians. He said, God was give me a new heart, give me a new mind, and give me a new destination and a new future. That's why he said, if anyone be in Christ, he is a new creator. All things are passed away. All things are passed away, and behold, the new things are become new. He understood. Apostle Paul understood that he had been made righteous through Jesus' blood. When Jesus hung on the cross, he hung there in my sense, in our sense. That's why Apostle said in 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 21. 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 21. Apostle Paul said, God made him who had no sin to be sin for us so that in him we might become the righteousness of God. Naging makasalanan si Kristo para sa atin. Para tayo na makasalanan ay maging malinis sa harapan ng Diyos sa pumagitan ng kanyang dugo. That's why Paul Sol said, Jesus took our place in the cross of Calvary. He was our substitute. He became sin 
to become a sinners in order that we have made righteous in front of Heavenly Father. He did not have to do it, but He did it for you. He did it for me. He did, not, he did it for us because of love. We've been washed in His blood. We've been cleansed by His blood. We've been made a whole. We've been made a righteousness. We've been set free from the slaves of sin into the slaves of the kingdom of our Lord Jesus Christ. We are a new creature. That's why we can now come boldly to the throne of grace and obtain mercy and help in time of peace. It is recorded in Hebrews chapter 4, verse 16. Brothers and sisters in Christ, because He has made a way for us and He has made that way plain in order to purchase freedom from sin and to meet as slaves of Jesus Christ to His kingdom. Adam knew God intimately in the beginning. He walked and talked with God. But Adam, after he sinned, he hid from God because he was afraid of him. Are you that way? Just what Adam, he hid himself because he afraid in the presence of God the Father. Do you go to God and say, Lord, I've done something wrong, forgive me. But Adam did not do it. He hide himself. God loves us. God loves you. And he wants to forgive you. He's on your side. He is in our side. He is our righteousness. He wants to pull you to himself. For the declaration came from your mouth, our Lord Jesus Christ. If we seek first the kingdom of our heavenly Father and all those things should be added unto us. Thank you, the word of your promise. Thank you, Lord, the word of your blessing that you have said. Kumuunahin lang namin ang paghahanap ng paghahari ng Diyos sa aming mga puso, sa aming mga isipan. Ang lahat ng mga bagay na minititay o dinanais namin ay regalo na lang. But we need, Lord, the power came from you, the strength and power from the Holy Spirit. Because in our own place, we cannot do. But, if the Holy Spirit that you have sending to us, according to your promise, that you have sent the Holy Spirit as a helper, as an advocate, 